In this video series, we're gonna take a look at how to install the Facebook Pixel with the help of Google Tag Manager onto your website. All and more coming up right after this. Hey there, welcome back to another video of measureschool.com teaching you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian and on this channel we do marketing tech reviews, tips and tricks videos and tutorials just like this one. So if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. Now it's 2018 and technology is always changing. So today we wanna do an update video on our very popular Facebook Pixel videos and how to install them with the help of Google Tag Manager. And in this first video, we're gonna take a look at how to deploy the Facebook base tracking pixel so we can capture page views with this Facebook pixel. I usually do this with Google Tag Manager because it gives me great flexibility to deploy more sophisticated tracking, which we'll do in the next videos after that. So without further ado, let's dive in. All right, in our Facebook account, we are here under the pixel settings, which you can easily reach by going to the menu here and under events manager, you have your pixels right here. Now, this is an overview, click into your pixel and then you have the overview over your activity. From here, you can view what events were fired and also debug if anything is coming into the pixel. Now, in order to set everything up, you need to click the setup button here and it will give you options to install this via an integration or tag manager to manually install this or send this to your developer. Now, although it says here tag manager, I will go with the manual installation because what this option will do is install a template into your tag manager account and won't give you much control over the customizations of the code. So since we want to understand it, we'll go with the manual installation and this little overview will give us a little bit of an explanation. You can ignore the first point because we will deploy this through Google Tag Manager and then we'll get to our base tracking pixel code. Now this is a code that we can copy just by clicking on it and start installing it with the help of Google Tag Manager. Now this is my demo shop where I want to install the Facebook pixel. I have Google Tag Manager installed. If you don't know how to install Google Tag Manager then check out this video right here. So in our Google Tag Manager account we can now start implementing this tag. All you need to do is go to tags right here, click on new, name this tag, then head over to tag configurations. And here you usually choose the tool that you want to implement. Unfortunately, there is no tag template for Facebook just yet. So we have to go with the custom HTML tag. We click that and it will give us an HTML window where we can implement our code. Now it's important about this code to understand there are actually three parts to it. The first part being our base tracking, which will load the Facebook library and initiate our pixel. So it knows where to send the data to. The second part are the events. So in this case, we have an event call to track a page view. And then last but not least, if your user doesn't have JavaScript enabled, there will be an attempt to load an image tag on the website instead. So this page view could be counted. Since Google Tag Manager only works on pages with JavaScript enabled, we can get rid of this code here. If you wanted to make sure that it's even deployed, if there's no JavaScript enabled, you could input this into a custom image tag. So there's an option up here as well where you could put in the URL of the piece that we have just deleted. So that would be this URL and deploy this separately. Now I won't do this since it makes up only a very low percentage of users who don't have JavaScript enabled. So I'm gonna get rid of that. The second part is here our track call, which is the event that gets sent over to Google Analytics. We will put this into a separate tag so we can control the events a bit better inside our tag management. So this Google Tag Manager tag actually just deploys our base tracking and initiates our pixel. It won't send any data over to Facebook just yet. But it's important to separate these so you have more flexibility in your tag management later. One important configuration we need to do in this tag is go to advanced settings and then set the tag priority. So this file is actually before any kind of other Facebook tags fire. I'm just gonna put in 99. So the higher the number is, 
it will be fired first and we will attach a trigger. In this case, it will just be the all pages trigger. So we'll save this and click on the preview and debug mode. This will put our browser and only our browser in a special state that lets us see on our website when we reload the preview and debug console down here. And we can see our Facebook pixel base code now fired and initiated our pixel. We can use the Facebook pixel helper, which is available for Google Chrome, an extension that I'm also going to link up below that right now there's no information that has been sent to Facebook just yet because we don't have an event that actually gets tracked here. So next up, we want to actually deploy our page view tracking, which is the base tracking for Facebook. So let's go over to Google Tag Manager and click on new tag. In this case, it would go over to Facebook as well. We're going to send a page view and this will be deployed on all pages. We'll go back to our custom HTML and input our code that we have just copied out of our tag. So this is the Facebook track call. Now this is JavaScript. So we need to surround it by script tags. Since this is a custom HTML window. All right, that should do it. Let's take our trigger. We don't have to set a tag priority in this case, because by default it will fire after the base tracking code. Let's save this, refresh our tag manager, refresh our page. And we now see our Facebook pixel code fired and then our page view. You can also see this in the tag assistant. We have our page view that fired and some automatically picked up micro data, which is not much, just the title. Now to make sure that this works correctly, you can go to different pages and just check whether the data is transferred correctly seems to be the case. So it's now deployed on every page where you have Google Tag Manager installed. If you wanted to see if the data is actually received by Facebook, we can go back to our manager here and see the activity. Now let's reload this. Here we have our page view. And right here we have our newest data that was initialized. So this is the pixel initialization and then up here we have our page view. Now if you want to have a little bit more comprehensive view, you can go to view analytics here, which will open up Facebook analytics, which has a better view on the data by going to event debugging. So right here you could find your pixel. In our case, we have our page view that was fired into the demo shop and seems to be working correctly and is now tracking our movements on the page. So this is how you install Facebook page view tracking with the help of Google Tag Manager. To spin this to the end, to make it live to all your users, you actually need to submit a version to Google Tag Manager, which will publish this container live to your website. So every user will be tracked. Give this a descriptive name and then publish this to all your users. And this is now live on your website. And if we reload our page here, well, let's go first out of our preview and debug mode. So even though we are not in a preview and debug mode anymore, the pixel still fires correctly, as we can see in the Facebook pixel helper. In the next video, we're going to learn how we can deploy custom Facebook events with the help of Google Tag Manager. All right, so this is it with our first video on how to install the Facebook Pixel with the help of Google Tag Manager. Now that the base tracking code is installed, we wanna go on to more sophisticated tracking and this is where event tracking comes in. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to track button clicks with the help of Google Tag Manager and forward that on to our Facebook Pixel. So don't be shy, head over to the next video over there. And if you haven't yet, then consider subscribing right over there because we bring you new videos just like this one every week. Now, my name is Julian. See you in the next video.